beautiful hoosters. How y'all doing today? Well, I'm so excited to tell you what I'm about to eat. I'm so happy. Let's bend our heads and let's just pray. She said, we're going to do another thank you, God, prayer. Lord, 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 there's power in your name. Thank you so much for blessing us with another new day. You are awesome. Thank you for using me, keeping me, saving me. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. Bless those who are in the space right now. Also, bless our YouTube community. Let us all love and come together to support. We will be strong. In the name of Jesus, I pray, man, amen. Oh, my God, I felt that. Oh, I felt that. Okay, y'all. You know, I'm that leftover girl, right? And I did the uh, chicken and dumplings uh, yesterday. They really came out so good. And I knew I was going to do uh, leftovers today. But my son came over uh, last evening and uh, we kind of hung out. We hang out a lot. And um, he cooked his dinner. And so he brought me some dinner. So this is what I'm eating. So look, y'all, that's, that's, that's this is my son's cooking. Yeah, you know, and I did teach him how to cook. So we don't cook a light because he have his own way. He made his own barbecue sauce, y'all. You know, a spicy hot mama wife, a pepper and jam that uh, I eat. He used the pineapple habanero to uh, make his barbecue sauce. And I kind of touched it. And I'm thinking like, oh, he got something right there. This the one he used to make his barbecue sauce, y'all. Oh, it is good. So don't forget, y'all, uh, I haven't got my last six uh, jars yet, but I still eat uh, my spicy hot white jam and jelly. So, yeah, don't forget to order, y'all. I'll put the information down in the description box again. Woohoo! So we're having... He made macaroni and cheese because he know his mama loves some macaroni and cheese. He did some cabbage greens and um, he did, well, I have some uh, leftover dirty rice for mama. <laughs> he did uh, barbecue chicken and uh, beef rib. Well, this is a pork rib, ain't it? No, that's a beef rib, y'all. Okay, he doing something right. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all, so first, hmm, well, hot. Mm. I did red velvet cupcakes while well, I ate one last night. <laughs> he did red velvet cupcakes. Boy, I'll tell you something. Oh, y'all look what we drinking. <laughs> My tiki punch. Honey, uh, um, a woman loves a man that can cook. Let me say that again. A woman loves a man Ooh. that can cook. And the, and the good part about that as well, and the good part about that as well, when you have a woman that can cook and a man that can cook, <laughs> y'all already know I'm kind of perverted. Y'all, y'all understand what can happen in that kitchen together. Ooh. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Talk about cooking. Uh, cooking. A uh, bowl. <laughs> yeah. Mm, my God. Remember what I said <laughs> the other day? The, the elders say, well, when they talk about it, they not, they not doing it. They don't have it. It's a true statement. <laughs> Mm. And you know, my son, he really don't use a lot of pork, y'all. He really don't. And I'm kind of glad about that. And, uh, you know, I don't eat much pork pork either. I think the only thing pork that I eat, well, I do, I like, I like fried bacon in my, um, uh, 
Mm. It don't cook with pork, but doing this, I have a, some good flavor. Ain't no pork meat in here. And I do like some uh, baby back ribs, y'all, in the crock pot with some sweet baby ray. I do like that. I don't eat pork chop. Yeah, but I have to, I, oh, this is good. I'm going to tell him. Um, once a year, I do do a stuffed pork roast. Once a year. Once a year, I do ham, and it's on Thanksgiving. Mm, mm, mm. The, oh, yeah. I forgot. I'm gonna give y'all some of this. This macaroni and cheese is so creamy. I'm gonna give y'all a piece of chicken. Here you go, take a bite. Yum, yum, give me some. I told y'all, for me, I really do believe that food is supposed to be shared. Everybody should just get around that, that oval table, the long table, however many people you have, and you know, just get the food and pass it around the table and put it on your plate and say prayers and then just talk about, I get chill bumps when I talk about this, y'all. I can't lie. Um, you can talk about so many things, I'm telling you. So many. Laughter. Jokes. Food is to be shared. Period. Now, I can't stop eating this macaroni and cheese. This, this macaroni and cheese is good. You know, it's like love, right? Food. They help us out. Food, drinks, I don't care what your drink is, it can be Kool-Aid, it can be cocktails, it can be tea, it can be water, whatever is in your cup, that's your business. And love. Oh, y'all, I got my, my peppers. I don't know if I'm going to eat them, now. Those three things bring people together. Mm-hmm. It's a beautiful thing. I in love, you know. I can't say it enough. <clears throat> I'm mm. Mm. It's good. Love. Mm, that love is a many splendor thing. Love is kind. Love is sharing. Love is encouragement. Is that? Love is everything good that you can give to somebody, you know, and it feels good. Not just for them, but you feel it as well. I love to share my love. I have a lot of it, y'all. Oh, that's so good. And y'all will hear me say a, a, a lot of times, I didn't have love in my childhood. I didn't feel it in, in, my, in, my, in, in, in the house I was raised in for 13 years. You know? I was broken, I was battered, I was bruised, for real. And that, mm -hmm, neglected. Like I, I told you, one day, I cried out. Damn, this is so good. That thought is good. Mm -hmm. You can taste the, um, the jelly now, too. It's good. So, when I cried out, 
I ask God to teach me love. He did. So the love that I have, it ain't mine. <laughs> it ain't mine. So, you know, I, and I keep my arms open. Anybody can come in my arms. Come on, baby. Everybody need a hug. Shoot. Handshake. A, a high five. Something. A smile. And y'all hear me say this again. All that stuff I just mentioned is free. It don't cost you nothing. Nothing. Don't cost you nothing. Hmm. I'm telling you. My next husband. That sounded like I had a lot of them. Huh? No, I didn't. I was only married once. God rest his soul. I know I did not kill him either. <laughs> I wanted to. But anyway, my next husband is going to be a happy man. Oh, God. I know more now than I did then. You know what I mean? I've grown so much. And mm, y'all take a bite. That is delicious. For real. I'm going to call him no soon as I get off this video. I'm going to have to bottle that. It's good. I'm, I'm going to eat that real. Hmm. That's good. Mm. So, if you don't know that kind of love, go to God. He'll give it to you. He'll teach you. Mm-hmm. You know, and then, of course, I love me. I do. I had to learn how to love me. I had to learn how to know who I am as well. Mm-hmm. Mm. And it come overnight either. But it came. And it's just so many things that's happening right now in my season. You know, I was sitting at my desk and I got this, this overwhelming feeling and it felt so good. And I said, God, I know that's you. It's something about to explode in my life, and it's going to be huge. Mm -hmm. When I got on my computer today, because, you know, I was off last week, and the first thing I saw from my boss was IBM appreciates you. And it had my pitch, and it had some really good words that she gave me you know that wow mm -hmm. that just makes you feel good too when you are acknowledged you know on your job and i love what i do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's amazing that My job that I had before this one, I loved as well. But you know, remember I told y'all I had to leave that job to get away from that pain that I was in? Because me and my ex, we worked together and I couldn't handle seeing him every day no more. And so that's how I got on this job that I am. This this is over now two years, what, two, a little over two years now. Mm-hmm. Remember, I had to move away. I had to move away. And I don't regret it. Because I had to do what I had to do. A lot of times, we are afraid to move. We stick and we stay, even when it's bad. I'm, I don't have that fear to move. You know, I, I always think about, I'm here in Texas, yes. My husband I may not be here. So if, my, if I met my husband at the airport, if I met him because he's here for something and at the store, at the red light, at, any, at anywhere, visiting a friend, it doesn't matter. He may not be from here. But if it should be my husband and we learn that and we grow together and he said, you're going to move where I am, 
Surely I will. There ain't no hard choice for me. I'm not afraid to. Uh, well, okay. I don't want to go to no country though that I don't have rights. Because we spoil here. That's why everybody comes to the United States. For the freedom. Mm-hmm. Y'all, I am so smacking. My son made that sauce. I tell you. He can give me a. He can give me a container of that sauce. I will keep that in my refrigerator and use it well. That really is good. Everything is good, really. Mm -hmm. And I know he's going to see this video, too. <laughs> oh, and he gave me a good idea last night. I'm going to take him up on it. Mm -hmm. I chimed in on a live with a man today. Steady Rock, I want to say that's his name. Sam Samuel, I know that. At the barbershop. You know, he was cutting hair. His clients were sitting there and everybody has something to say. It's so good, really, for real. When we have an ear to hear. I said something right there, y'all. They talked about a lot of relevant stuff. When you can get out of the woman's circle and get in that man's circle and listen to their perspective of life, it's, it's good. You know, that's why I love the cigar lounge. Because, you know, yeah, it's, it's us. It, we, we are, and now the women are in there, but not as much as the men. And the crew I hang around, it's just men, period. I think it's one more woman. Come in with her man. <laughs> you know? The perspective of a man is wonderful. Mm -hmm. I love it. So kudos to you, babe. It was good this morning. From that hood girl to, to the hood. Mm -hmm. Y'all, it's, it's so amazing that my hood, my hood name that I was born with the first thing that they said in the barbershop was, everybody came from the hood. So I had to tell them that really that's my last name. I, I use it, you know. But we, we, you know, we were around the hood. We weren't raised in the hood all our lives, though. But you're right. <laughs> I do know how to be hood if I'm pushed to it. <laughs> Trust that. <laughs> so with that said, y'all, grab your bottle of my spicy hot wife uh, jelly and jam. Make your own creation of it, honey, because my son made the hot, made the uh, barbecue sauce with this one. So thank y'all so much for coming back, 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 back. To this one and only hood girl too. I love y'all and y'all already know that. Thank you for joining me. Now, all my new ones, before you leave today, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Don't forget to share, comment, and like. I love to read.